The Apostle Paul said these words. He said, lay hands suddenly on no men. Now, he wasn't talking about praying for the sick. You can be out on the streets. You can lay a hand suddenly on anybody. <laughs> you know, she's like that at home, too. It's weird. <laughs> it's weird. If I, if I get too close to her, I'm thinking, God, I wasn't going to do anything wrong. She belongs to me. But... Um, <clears throat> You can lay hands suddenly on anybody if you're praying for healing or if you're doing things like that. What, it, what it's talking about is setting people into leadership. He said, don't do that suddenly. Because see, a, a person's gifts and a person's passions, a, a person's gift will make room for them. And there's this place of being found faithful and stewarding well what you've been entrusted with that, that, that deserves that recognition. See, when we had ordained Nelda as an elder uh, a while back, it wasn't because we wanted her to step into some new responsibility. No, she'd been doing it. She'd been doing it. So it was a matter of acknowledging that gift in her and acknowledging her faithfulness in stewarding that gift. That's what happened on that Sunday. And see, this morning, we... I, I, I've seen the same thing in Kevin and Ioni. I don't know if you remember this, Kevin. One time you were sitting in my office. It was shortly after we moved into the building. And you were sitting back there and you looked up at my bookshelf and you saw this CR material. And, and you, you started asking me about it. And, and I, we talked about it. He said, you know, he, I, I, I don't know if you remember this. You said, I'd be willing to make a two-year commitment. You remember that? How many years has it been? Five? Okay. That's what faithfulness looks like. Amen? And so uh, Ione's been working in, in children's ministry. And, you know, one of the first signs to me was how fast she actually stepped back into it af after Ethan came. I mean, her heart, I mean, babies take energy and time. Maybe you guys don't know that. Not yet. But, but uh, anyway, uh, Kevin, you know, embraced our, our security team and has just, you know, they've both excelled in what they've, they've been entrusted with. And what we're really doing this morning is just acknowledging that and setting them in at what they've been faithful doing. Does that make sense? So Kevin and Ione, can you come up? I'm going to invite the elders and the deacons to come up also because we want to lay hands on them and we want to pray for them this morning stir up the prophetic gift if you have that stirring in you we just want to bless them and we just want to say welcome to the team so father thank you thank you for this faithful couple Thank you for the, the work that you have done in each of their lives. Thank you for their salvation. Thank you for their maturing. And Lord, we just bless them this morning and we acknowledge these giftings. We acknowledge that these are two are deacons in our midst. And this morning we're just saying we, we, we confirm it. We, we acknowledge it and we bless it in Jesus' name. Amen. I was uh, praying this morning so that I could share a word with you from the, from the Father. And the Father said, um, in response, he says, I see Kevin Ioni as a man of honor and a woman of honor. Honor is huge. I want to encourage you to do a word study on honor. And because you have been a man and woman of honor and integrity, God is going to give you increase in many ways. I don't know what all that means, but God just said you're, you're going to receive increase. You're going to receive, receive a greater capacity to love and to give. 
because you have been faithful to honor God and to honor each other and to honor his kids. Kevin and I, Oni, we love you guys. And just as the years have gone on, it has been such an honor and a privilege to get to know you. We count you as just more of our kids. And uh, we are excited to see all the wonderful things the Lord has done in and through you and will continue to do. And we are thrilled to bring you on as deacons at Grace Church. We see the giftings the Lord has given you and that you are generous with your heart, with your prayers, with your time. And that just pleases the Lord's heart so much. And so we just are excited to have you in this season with us. And we bless you. We just speak a blessing over you, a parental blessing over both of you as you just step into this new season. Let everything that your hands touch be, bring glory to the Lord and be a blessing in Jesus' name. This is only a beginning of where I'm taking you. So I have started a great work in you and I will complete it, says the Lord. You know, um, just early, earlier it was like, uh, <laughs> I saw you guys and you were taking these little steps that it was like God was making them in, into these huge steps. It, it's like you're t just a little step that it's like zoom, God, God's, and, and I just see that in your future. God, you, you may know what some of those steps are right now, but, but as you take them in faith, it's like God's going to propel you in with it. Yeah. Brothers and sisters, there's a spirit of excellency upon you. There has been for quite some time because of the honor of love that you have for your Heavenly Father. You show that very well to the world of darkness. And, and then for each other. You know very well how to look up and get the love of the Father. Mm -hmm. And then you give it to each other. And then you give it unto the world. Mm -hmm. yeah. The Lord says that the people who know their God shall do great exploits. This is just the beginning. Like... Uh, John said it's just the beginning of all the things that great things that he wants to do with you you're going to be doing great works for our precious Lord that he be magnified and glorified in your lives let let continual grace grace be upon you and grace come out forth from your mouth as it is spoken and those who hear those who follow you you walk you're such a beautiful couple together you walk together hand in hand it's almost like you just see a heart as one and and the beautiful path that he has the beautiful beautiful path that he has for you is all about mercy and truth and with the spirit of excellency that is upon you because of the spirit of the Lord that is upon you Hallelujah. So everybody stretch out your hands towards these guys. Father, we honor them. Bienvenidos. Lord, we honor them and the works that you're doing in them. And we just say blessing upon blessing upon blessing upon blessing in Jesus' name. Amen. So I want to ask this. So we are, uh, we're in love with you guys. Mm -hmm. So you've shown yourself approved. And it's not of men that you've shown yourself approved. So the Lord told me to let you, Kevin, speak a blessing to this congregation. Your heart's desire for you and this congregation. Thank you, Dale. First and foremost, I want to acknowledge my Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. Without His grace, mercy, 
and forgiveness in my life. I would not be standing here before you today with this great honor. Thank you for honoring us and our commitment to, to this family and most importantly to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We hope that we can step in and fulfill those expectations and with God's strength, his guidance and our commitment. We see nothing but victory before us. Yes. Father, please bless every member of this congregation present and not present today. Father, restore to them hope mm -hmm. in this climate of, of chaos and change. Bring to them a restoration in their heart. Let them follow your lead. Mm -hmm. Let them look up and not down. Let them see your face. Sh shine your light into everyone's life. Let us be an example for those who are still lost in the darkness. Let this congregation go out and touch the hearts and minds of those who would be willing to listen to the word of the Lord. Father, we thank you. We worship you. We glorify you. We magnify your name. You are the name above all names. It is the blood and sacrifice of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, that makes all of this possible. Father, we thank you for, for your restoration in our lives and allowing us to be a light into the path of those willing to follow you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you guys.